In this video, we're going to be discussing polynomials. Now, everything that you see here is considered to be a polynomial. There are a couple of polynomials written down here that only have one term you'll notice. Uh, the number 8 is considered to be a polynomial, and so is just the term 9x. Since they're by themselves, we actually call these monomials. Mono meaning one. I have several examples written here that actually have two terms, 5x plus 3, x minus y, negative 2a plus 8, and negative 2LW plus 4LW all just have two terms. If a polynomial has two terms, it's called a binomial. Bi meaning two, like a bicycle, two wheels. You'll notice one polynomial here has three terms, right here, and it's called a trinomial. Tri meaning three, like a tricycle, three wheels. If a polynomial has more than three terms, I don't know that we give it a special name. It's just a polynomial of four terms. You can have polynomials that have five terms, six terms, all the way up to an infinite number of terms. Now there's a bit of vocabulary that we want to talk about. So to start going through that vocabulary, I want to begin with monomials. Each one of these is a polynomial that's separate from the others, and each one just has one term, so it's called a monomial. Each one has a coefficient. Each one in my examples have variables, and every monomial has a degree. So let's write down what these are for each of these four examples. The coefficient is the number that's on the term. So in this first example, the coefficient is 3. In the second example, the coefficient is negative. It's negative 2. In the third example, the coefficient is negative 6. And in the last monomial, the coefficient is 12. Now let's look at the variables. The variable of, in our first monomial is x. We have two variables in our second monomial, x and y. We just have one variable in our third monomial, and it's a. And the two variables in our last monomial are L and W. Now degree, this is probably a new word to you. The degree of a term is the sum of the powers on the variables. So in this first example, the only power on the variable is 5. So the degree is 5. In the next example, though, we have x that's raised to a power of 2. And we also have y that doesn't have a power on it. But secretly, we don't write it, but there's a power of 1 on that y. You sum those two powers together, and you get 2 plus 1 is 3. So the degree of this term here, this monomial, is 3. What is the degree on negative 6a? Well, a is raised to the first power. Again, we don't write it, but it's there. So the degree is 1. And how about the degree of our last monomial? L has a power of 1 on it, and W has a power of 1 on it. You add those two together, and the term has a degree of 2. All right, let's talk a little bit more vocabulary. Now what I've written down here is technically a binomial. It has two terms. But you know from previous chapters that you can take 2x plus 5x and combine them to get 7x. So in this specific example, we could take a binomial and combine it to simplify it into just a monomial. Why were we allowed to do that? Well, the only reason we're allowed to combine these two terms into one term is because these are called like terms. We can combine like terms. What makes two terms like terms? Well, there are two things that make terms like terms. They have to have the same variables. In this case, x and x are the same variables. And they have to have the same powers on those variables. So again, in this case, x was to the first power here, and x was to the first power here. They have the same variables with the same powers, so they're like terms, and we can combine them just by adding their coefficients. So just as another example, if you had something like 2a and 5b, these are not like terms. So we're not allowed to add these two terms together into one term. To give you a couple more examples, let's look at this one. 3xy plus 5xy squared. Now they look pretty similar to each other, but technically they're not like terms. The reason they're not like terms, even though they have the same variables, is because there's a different power on this variable in this term. In the first term, y has a power of 1, and in the second term, y has a power of 2, so they're not like terms, and you can't combine them. However, 4LW minus 6LW, now those two terms are like terms. They have the same variables, L and W, and the same powers on those variables. They're both 1. So what we can do is we can combine those like terms by adding the coefficients, or in this case, subtracting the coefficients. We have 4LW minus 6LW, and 4 minus 6 is negative 2. So you can combine these two to get negative 2LW. Let's do one more complicated example, and then I'll give you a quiz. 
I'd like to combine like terms in this polynomial. So the first thing you're going to want to do is identify which terms are like terms. And given a quick glance at this thing, you'll notice that 6xy and 7xy have the same variables with the same powers. We're allowed to combine those two together by just adding the coefficients. So 6xy plus 7xy is going to give us 13xy. Do we have any other like terms? Well, yeah, the 5x squared and the negative 2x squared. Those have the same variable with the same power, so we're allowed to combine them. 5 minus 2 is just 3, so we're going to get a plus 3x squared. Well, this 4y term is all we have left, and it's not a like term with anything else. It doesn't have the same variables with the same powers as the other terms, so we just have to leave it alone and carry it down. So we combined two sets of like terms, and there was one term that wasn't a like term with anything else, so we just kind of had to carry it down. All right, I want you to do the same thing for this video quiz. Combine the like terms. Good luck. I'll see you in the next video.